Well, well, well. If it isn't the ops, you can tell us the ops by those Brembo's right there. It's the WRXTR. What up, though, ladies and gentlemen? It's Q back here again with another video for you. In today's video, I'm here to compare the 2024 WRX with my 2023 GR Corolla. I'm here at Fox Subaru here in Macomb, Michigan. So if you've been following this channel for a little minute, you'll know that I ordered, I had the orange Subaru WRX on order, but I didn't take delivery of it. But I'm back here again today to do a review to compare the WRX against my GR Corolla. In my honest opinion, the WRX is the closest competitor to the GR Corolla. I feel like the GR Corolla is unfairly pit against other cars, like the Civic Type R being the main thing, when this is a rally car. And what's the only other rally car out there? We got the WRX. So this is going to be the closest comparison that you can get, the most fair comparison. So I do have a soft spot for the WRX. Shout out to race car friends. He's a fanboy of these things. But the WRX is a car that I do respect. Subaru as a company, I got my personal issues with them. But Fox Subaru right here, this is the one dealership that I deal with when it comes to Subaru. And I thank them for letting me get this vehicle today to do a review. I'm going to do a, a quick driving portion of it today too. So the GR Corolla, this is the hot car right now. So these are hard to get to. But the WRX, this is the one that has been here the whole time. GR Corolla is new to the market as of 2023, and the GR Yaris a year or two before that one. So before you leave, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, browse the channel, let's jump into it. The premium WRX in World Rally Blue is going to be about, this one is spec'd out to about 37, so mid-36s after all the options because it does have floor mats leds things of that nature and then it has the the sunroof and the harman kardon my gr corolla this one is specced out at about forty one thousand, and it's going to have the cold weather package technology package which is going to have heated seats heated steering wheel jbl audio which is garbage and i do have the performance pack on here as well which is going to give me the bigger brakes so the brakes were just added to the WRX in the TR trim, so it does have the Brembo's, and that's going to bring the WRX up to 43,000, but we'll say that comparison to another day. So, and they do have one here. Go check out the website. Brakes on the WRX. I'll talk about that a little bit when we go for a drive. As an owner of a GR Corolla, I'm here to tell you there is no shame. If you can't get one or don't want to wait to get one of these at a reasonable price, because they have been marked up. The prices are coming down on them, though, but they're still kind of hard to run across. The WRX is a great alternative to the GR Corolla. And here's why, because they got the same recipe. The WRX is a is a way more practical car. I'm about to show y'all in just a second here. Looks wise, uh, <laughs> a lot of people don't like the looks of the WRX. I think it does look attractive from the front. I, I don't really care about the rear. The plastic cladding, I don't mind that at all. A lot of people paint it. If I had one, I wouldn't paint it. I like it as it is. The GR Corolla, the looks grew on me. It looks sinister in black. So mine is blacked out black windows. I did put the red in there for some contrasting. Got the mud flaps, rally car things. And you can definitely accessorize the WRX up to do all of that such. Rally car, mud flaps. And just looking around this parking lot, there's a bunch of WRXs out here. We even got a couple STIs out here. <laughs> all kinds of stuff. So this is just a quick example. Just walking across from where I'm recording. Got an STI. You can mod these up to the moon big dumb power like, look at this one i don't even know what's going on here but i already know like i wouldn't want to race one look at that huge wing on the back hold on we about to step away from the video for a minute Dang! look at that wang <laughs> apr carbon fiber look at that just look at what all you can do and then we got the the wrx sti wing thing is huge too man oh there's another one all these stis over here so this is the spec that i had ordered and i would dress it up just the same that orange with the wing on the back, that's something I would have planned on doing. And then we got another SDI over here, slammed to the ground. <laughs> the powertrains. So we're gonna have a 1.6 liter inline three cylinder versus a 2.4 liter inline four cylinder. So we got about 300 horsepower, 270 some pound feet of torque. And then on this one, we had 271, 272 horsepower, 252 pound feet of torque. So the GR Corolla is going to be a little bit lighter, like 33. They're both around 33, 3,400 pounds. Can't remember the exact one. The Armchair Warriors, let me know which one is heavier. But they're very similar. They all, both have all wheel drive. If they had an STI version, you would be able to choose the 
the differentials, like 50-50, the torque split, but the WRX doesn't get that. It is nice though that we do have hood struts on the WRX, but the GR Corolla, prop rod. Poverty spec at its finest. GR Corolla and this is a car that I could not drive every single day because it's just too tiny you got a family it's not gonna work for me sitting up in the front seat ample space in the front seat but once we go beyond the front seats like that's what I see why they made the Marizo edition with just two front seats because the back is not that practical and then the trunk space is kind of laughable but something up here that we don't have we don't get an armrest in the GR Corolla what is up with that? What, what what are we trying to save on weight? I don't know. I really don't know. What the GR Corolla is going to have, we got this handbrake, which is going to add to a whole lot of fun. We do have where you can change the the differentials. We got 50-50, got 60-40, and 70-30. And then we got our sport modes up here. And the six-speed manual. You're going to get a fully digital display for the cluster in the GR Corolla. The screen is not as nice as what's in the the Subaru WRX, but it gets the job done. It's the same corporate Toyota infotainment system. Nothing to write home about, it's basic. Coming to the back seat. I told you already to subscribe and you didn't. Come on now, help your brother out. Back seat, you can see all these rubber bands. Car seat that's back here, let me sit behind myself because I'm six feet tall. And me getting in this back seat, something I really don't like doing. I can fit back here, but it's not comfortable at all. My knees are in the seat in front of me. These seats are comfortable, especially the driver's seats. I wouldn't want to sit back here in the back, and I wouldn't even sit somebody in the middle. Now, my children, they can fit back here. Three kids can fit in the back of here. Only one car seat, though. You got to have kids outside of car seats. So, like, eight and above, whatever age they're in your state where kids don't need car seats. So, if you need that kind of practicality, the GR Corolla will not be the one for you. The triple exhaust outlet. I do like that about the GR Corolla. But, when it comes to practicality two backpacks tripod in the shoe so let's go over to the the wrx and see what the practicality is looking like in the trunk of here how much of my stuff can i fit how much of the junk in my trunk can i fit in the wrx let's check it out take a look at this in the trunk of the wrx i got all of my stuff in here with more than double the room let me brighten it up down here just look at this man we got a whole lot more space in the back of the wrx that's crazy because that's a hatchback hatchbacks are known to be practical but practical it is not i do appreciate that the wrx does have quad exhaust but the back leaves a little bit something to be desired and i think the back angle of the gr corolla is this good looking angle and i do have the the circuit edition wing on here but it does have a cool thing like this magma inspired in the tail lights but the back just doesn't do it to me the spoiler is kind of yeah i need some I don't know, put make an SDI and put the big SDI spoiler on there. That's something I would put on here. Let's go to the back seat, then work our way to the front. Coming in to the back seat. This is where I'm going to be the huge win for the WRX. Sitting behind myself in here. My goodness. We got about two, three inches of knee room up in here. A whole lot of head space. And it's just roomy from side to side. I can fit probably three of me back here. Let me sit in this middle spot. Well, maybe two of me because it is a little humping here. We do have the axle coming down the middle of the car. So my head is almost to the ceiling. But if you needed to, you could put three people in here. Three of me back here. And the GR Corolla, that ain't happening. Front seat, see what we got here. Cloth seats. These are comfortable seats as well. Both the cars. That's why I got the premium trim to the core. They're both evenly matched. So we got cloth seats. Very nice, supportive, soft even got a little sauce up in here got the carbon fiber design going on so what we are going to have in here 
a lot of blank buttons. Couldn't help myself on that. So this is kind of like a poverty spec, but even the top trims have a lot of blank buttons. They're going to put all these same switches in, like everything from the Subaru Ascent all the way on down. So that's why it's blank. I thought it was like lacking the features, but it's just cheap. Manufacturing the car, you got to know about that. So we are going to have mainly analog clusters with a digital screen in the middle. We do have this big display and it looks pretty cool. Few physical buttons on here, which is good. And I noticed that the last time since I was in here, the first one I drove was like an early 22 model maybe. It had a lot of uh, bugs in here, but I heard since then it's been fixed. So this WRX is gonna be a whole lot more practical. It's just a bigger car overall. We got a whole lot more storage, armrest, couple cup holders, whatever you will put right here. And another spot up here in my car, a wireless charger would go there. This WRX does have an option that I expect my car out to have. And we got the Harman Kardon, because that system sounds pretty good in here. And we also got a sunroof. Gotta have a sunroof. I love sunroofs. Wouldn't buy a car without one. If I had the choice, GR Corolla, that's not off-road. Now we're going to take both of these for a quick spin. It's got to be in the parking lot, because as I told y'all, I ain't got it like that with Subaru. But we're going to get in the GR Corolla first. buckle up even though we limit it to like two miles an hour and i'm gonna put it at 50 50 track mode sport gotta drive it in the sportiest setting so got an issue with my car I've seen it happen two or three times to where the infotainment screen just kind of resets and it's going to be doing that. So you see the screen turning off and on. Toyota, y'all say JDM is like the most oh, best made car. Now they they all have problems, even Toyota. So the GR Corolla is going to have the stiff chassis. And I love it though. And this car is a blast for me to drive. Why is that? Because not down low, obviously, because man, I was just flooring it and we were not going anywhere. But the power band on here, once you get up to around 4,000 RPM, that's where you really, uh-oh, we got the TR right there. But that's where it really starts to go. 4,000 RPM. And the handling on here is gonna be beautiful. At the limit though, I do have a problem with that because it wants to rotate, but it kind of it stops you when you're about to rotate. So don't like that about the GR Corolla, but it is fun on track, but it could be a whole lot more fun. Let's do a quick pull now here. So that's where the power comes on, 4,000 RPM, and it will push you back. So it's shocking. The gear shifter on here is good. The more I drive it, unfortunately, I have the honor to have a Acura Integra, which has like one of the best shifters. Um, I'm kind of spoiled when going back to back and coming to the, the GR Corolla. The shifter is good, but not the best. Sometimes it doesn't shift in the gear. It gets a little sloppy at times, but like 95% of the time, it is all good. Coming in here like the suspension is on the bumpier side, but I like it and the power chain. I, I just definitely love how the power kicks in in this GR Corolla. All kinds of fun. The exhaust sounds good too. You do get blow off valve noise. You gotta love that. The turning radius on here is gonna be excellent. And I love the way mine's are spec'd out because I got this heated steering wheel because <laughs> it's cold out today made that easy so this is a small package if you live in like a crowded city it would be a, a perfect car for doing you know, like parallel parking on the street i would hate to parallel park this car on the street i don't park my cars on the street unless i have to but if you need to it's good yeah the more i drive this this is not suited you can daily drive this but there's other cars out there with softer suspensions I'm interested in the WRX because I thought the WRX had a firm suspension when I initially drove it like a year or two ago. But now after driving this, it could it have the softer one? I don't know. 
and to go in reverse, pull the collar up, go to the left where first gear would normally be, and then we bag it on up. All right, out the GR Corolla. Hope this screen fixes itself because that is mad annoying. It'll fix itself at some point. And let's hop into the racks. Man, it's a huge difference in brightness. The door doesn't feel as solid. The trunk either feels on the light side. Just you don't get that feeling like you're in the vault. But that don't matter all that much now, does it? Also, buckle up for safety. It's cool that we got our directions in the mirror. Shift knob. I'll probably upgrade this shift knob. Feels like is that leather or plastic? I don't know. <laughs> but it's a little bit more mechanical feeling. I'll pass judgment till I drive a little bit more. Very easy to drive. And you're gonna feel that torque. You don't have to rev up to 4,000 RPM. We got torque down low in the WRX. No, I'm not gonna rev it too high as this is a new car but you definitely feel that torque and it seems to like slow down if you left your foot off the accelerator it'll slow down a lot more than the GR Corolla will and it wants to go fast too in second gear doing 13 14 miles an hour coming close to a stall but y'all know how to not stall Now the revs on here are gonna go up and down fast. So that's the difference. So we only have a red line of about 6,000 RPM, which isn't a lot. But what I do, what I love the most about the WRX, you get to uh, go through the gears. So the gearing on here is, is great for daily driving. You don't have to rev it out. And I enjoy that. The more I get to roll through my gears, the happier I am. And the GR Corolla is similar, but I feel like in the WRX, you get to do it even more. So it's just a, a very engaging car to drive. If you love shifting manual, as you should if you're on my channel, then this is definitely one of the cars that you do want. Yeah, and I still think this suspension is firm too. Is it as firm as the GR Corolla? Um, probably not gonna be able to make the, the most honest assessment of it that fast, being that this is a shorter video. But this is, they feel close to the same. I need to get on the road to actually see how it is. But even the roads around here are immaculate. Like they just repaved the street up there. Turning radius on here, great. <laughs> Hear a little bit of whining coming through here too. You gotta love it. What's got looking at? All right, let's go ahead. Park it back where we were. And I can give my final assessments in just a second here. This is great how much sunlight comes in here. So this shifter, I got confused. I tried to do the Corolla thing, but it's to the, pull the collar up to the right and down. I don't know if I could ever get used to that. Cause man, all these cars, sheesh. And then the display big large screen but we don't use all the real estate of the screen you can see we only got i feel like the rear view camera on the gr corolla what it displays is larger than this because we still got our bottom half is it still functional of course it should be but put it in the park handbrake up sand brakes feels really solid and that my friends is going to sum up today's video wrx and the gr corolla so huge shout out to fox subaru here in macomb Definitely shout out to Steve for even letting me get access to this vehicle today. So, hope that all sheds some light. Which would you rather get? So, I want to let y'all know, disclaimer, 
just because like one car people would think this is the obvious answer because it's the better car but there's also value in the WRX and you can save yourself some money there's something about the WRX that can be better than the GR Corolla performance wise is whatever you make it so I'm here to just shed that light for you so if you need more practicality this is the only answer if you want rarity and things that the GR Corolla offers like the difference the differentials being customizable and a couple drive modes then that's your answer so hopefully you found this video informative as always don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell about the channel i'll catch you in the next video peace out